Right everyone, what is going on? Buster Barnes here, bringing you my preview for Chelsea's home game in the Premier League against Everton at Stamford Bridge. Looking to get some revenge on Everton, who you could say started the poor run of form under Frank Lampard when we did lose 1-0 to them away from home. Actually one of the few games that had fans in the stadium and we will be looking to rectify that with a win tonight. We will see if we see any differences in the 11. I will be going over that as well as the team news in general and giving you all my scoreline prediction too. So if you do enjoy, leave a like, leave a comment down below as to your lineup and score predictions and as always, subscribe for more Chelsea FC content. My review for this game will be up after it does take place so do stay tuned for that as well. But team news is a bit hard to come by. When we have all of these fixtures clustered together, it does mean that sometimes we miss a press conference um, before matches, or basically the press conference for this match was straight after the Liverpool game, so it can't really give you much indication of whether players like Abraham or Thiago Silva are actually going to be fit for this game. I've sort of gone off the assumption that they're not going to be fit, but if they are, there's still a team that I would go with. Or to be fair, maybe Abraham would get in this side against a physical Everton team, but um, I am happy with the team that I have gone for. Although it's a bit up in the air at the moment, we do see Tuchel likes to rotate a few players, so it will be interesting to see what he chooses against Everton. Everton picking up some wins lately against West Brom, against Southampton. Um, only 1-0, so maybe they're you know, finding it a bit difficult to score at the moment. Maybe we can try and take you know, an advantage from that and um, try and you know, outscore them and stop them from getting through. I do think this will be a big test for us against uh, such a physical team with the likes of Richarlison and Calvert-Lewin up front. But more on that, when I get into my predicted 11, which is going to be right now, I am going for Eduard Mendy in goal. Um, he's our number one keeper. I thought he had a very professional performance against Liverpool. Didn't have to make any saves, but... In a few of the games before this, we have seen him be a bit shaky, a bit nervous. I don't think that was the case against Liverpool. So maybe we're finding him, you know, regain some of that confidence. And, um, yeah, he just seems to be a pretty decent keeper at the moment. Now, the back three, assuming Thiago Silva is not going to be fit for this game, is going to be Rudiger, Christensen and Cesar Azpilicueta. Now, even if Thiago Silva is fit but not 100%, I think you can afford, you know, not to rush him in back into the team just because of how good Christensen has been lately. I haven't been his biggest fan, but he's performing very well um, against, you know, United, against Atletico, against Liverpool. Big games that he's done well in. I really think this central role in the back three suits him very well. I mean, you know, opinion maybe varies on how he do in, if he was in a different system with maybe a back four or on one of the sides, I don't think he'd be as good. I've actually seen a bit of a debate of people saying that, oh, when Thiago Silva comes back, maybe you move Christensen to one of the right centre-back or left centre-back. Um, I personally don't see that. I don't think his attributes fit that role at all. Um, Christensen's a lot better, you know, when he's in the middle, when a bit of the load is taken off his shoulders, he can just read the game, sort of mop up in the box, you know, dr you know, and has a bit more time on the ball. I think if you put him on the right or the left, he's going to have to be one-on-one a lot more and um, you know his physicality is maybe going to come into question a bit so um, I do think that you know you pretty much have Thiago Silva and Christensen they can both play in the middle and then on either side you've got Rudiger um, Aspilicueta and Zuma to cover for them and I think that's pretty much how we should be set out in this back three system but um, this will be a massive test against Christensen if you guys don't remember um, last year um, when we lost 3-1 to Everton Christensen just got absolutely dominated by Calvert-Lewin and this will be a massive test to see if he does, you know, maybe deserve to try and get into this role a little bit more, maybe over someone like Thiago Silva. I mean, I still wouldn't play him over him, but, you know, this will be a big test for him against a big physical player. And, I mean, Richarlison is physical as well, likes to win a lot of aerials. So this will be a big test against Christensen. Maybe the other centre-backs will take the load off him. But, um, yeah, if he can prove himself in this game against a much more physical side, um, I think that does really show him improving um, quite a lot under Tuchel, but that's going to be the back three. Wing backs, I've gone for the full rotation over Reese James and Chilwell, who did well against Liverpool, but I've gone for Marcus Alonso and I've gone for Callum Hudson. The way, as you guys know, this is my predicted 11, not one that I necessarily want to see. I'd obviously start Chilwell all the time, but um, Alonso's taller, so you know, in set plays against Calvert Lewin, Mina, um, and uh, Richarlison, I think Tuchel will just want to use him. He can pop up in the box, he's had a bit of a rest, and we know that when Alonso's not playing consistently, that is actually when he turns up and puts in some of his better performances. So maybe we could see a good performance from Alonso. I actually thought he was quite good against Southampton, to be fair. But um, 
yeah, obviously I'd rather see Chilwell, but Alonso, he does have his things to offer at left wing back, and I think he'll start. Hudson Odoi is just going to be a bit more of an attacking change to Reese James. Um, it's going to you know bomb up and down. Aspie's going to cover a bit of right back, and hopefully Hudson Odoi can cause that Everton team some problems. I think we're going to have a lot of possession in this game, maybe compared to the others. Uh, midfield, this was a tough one because the midfielders have all been playing quite well. I've gone for Jorginho and Kovacic, basically just because. Um, you know, they've been rotated a little bit, and um, obviously Kante and Jorginho played the last game, um, and Jorginho was rest of the game before, so maybe Kante will be taken out. I think, like I said, we'll probably be trying to focus on heavy possession in this game, which maybe you could argue that Kovacic and Jorginho are a little bit better at. We might see Kante, I wouldn't be against seeing Kante. Um, obviously Tuchel is a big fan of him in the double six. We might see Kante and Kovacic. I do think Kovacic will probably be back in the side. But um, yeah, maybe against a more physical team as well, you'll want Kante in there. So um, that was pretty much, this was the main sort of dilemma for me in this selection. Maybe Kante will play. Let me know in the comments below if you to play him. Um, I wouldn't be against it if he did. This is just my prediction. Um, and then going to the front three. Going to see Mason Mount, obviously he's been our best player for ages now, and then there's no way he's getting out of the team. Um, on the other side though, I have gone for a returning Kai Havertz. Now maybe he's not going to be fully fit to start this game, so that could be in question. Ziyech, I think he's been better than some people have given him credit for, but maybe not good enough to warrant another start. Although maybe consistency is key in starting this guy a few times will actually get the best out of him. And Pulisic hasn't done a lot since coming on making an impact, and I think again Everton are a physical side. Havertz maybe needs to adapt to the physicality a bit, but also um, he's quite tall so he can deal with set pieces. There is one more thing that I could see happening, which I'll talk to you guys out in a bit. But I do have Timo Werner up front. Um, he did play very well, I think, against Liverpool. Was unlucky not to get that goal. Um, I do. Um, it's a bit of a debate on whether he's best on the left up front. I guess it depends on the team. But I think he played well enough against Liverpool to warrant a start. Now, the other thing that could happen is we could see Werner on the left, Mount on the right, and then Giroud up top to deal with him. Everton, Everton will probably sit deep, so this could be the best thing, but... I don't know, unless it's a European night, Giroud's just not really doing it for me at the moment. He's not consistent enough. I don't think he necessarily actually links up that well. I'd probably rather start someone like a Tammy Abraham, who's a bit more mobile when his link up players improving loads, but he might not be fit. So we could see Giroud, but I've gone for the front three of Mount. Havertz and Timo Werner. Maybe we can see a bit of that German link-up connection. Maybe Havertz can be a bit better when he's a bit more of an inside forward. I mean, you've got hudson Adoy um, on the side. We've actually seen hudson Adoy and Havertz link up quite well before, so maybe we can um, see that um, take place in this game against Everton. But that's going to be my predicted lineup, guys. Like I said, with Tuchel, he likes to rotate a bit. He's not fully set on this team, so we'll see what happens. Who knows if he's going to even go back to a, go to a back four sometime this season, or if he's saving that till next season. I guess we'll have to see. But to me, let me know your team predictions in the comments down below. If I'm going to go for a predicted scoreline, obviously we have been keeping quite a lot of clean sheets lately, and that could always happen. Um, Everton, we tend to do a lot better at them at home than we do away. However, um, away teams are doing a lot better at the moment, obviously with there being no fans. So maybe Everton do make it difficult for us, and I think they will. Um, I would love to see Chelsea score over two goals. We haven't done that yet again um, under Tuchel. But I don't think this will happen this game. I think I'm going to go for a 2-0 win um, for Chelsea, keeping um, Everton at bay. Although I do think if there is going to be a game we can see that could be against the Calvert-Lewin or someone just, you know, on Christensen. But um, hopefully um, we'll see that improvement from the back three and um, they can keep them at bay. So that's going to be my prediction, guys. 2-0 to Chelsea. Um, goals, I think I'm going to go for the goals I mean, that's actually kind of a tough one. I think I'll go for Alonso. You know, getting back in the team, he's going to score a goal. And I'll go for a goal from Timo Werner. Why not? He looks like he wants to score. Why not give him another goal? I seem to predict him all the time. And he doesn't seem to, um, you know, do it that much. But, you know, got to keep the faith in our German signing. So that's going to be it, guys. Do hope you did enjoy this video. Like I said, stay tuned for my review after the game. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more Chelsea FC content. Hope you all have a nice day. And I'll see you next time.